Hey, what's happening guys? I've got another Arduino for Kids project today that I hope you will enjoy. Pardon my clock that just went off. And you can see here, oops, I forgot to add in one part, boom. We have four parts for this project. We have a speaker. Now, if you don't have a speaker, you can use a little piezo beeper, piezo, piezo, however you say it. Let me see, I got one right here. They kind of look like this, but they won't be as loud. So we have a speaker. We have our Arduino. In this case, I'm using an Uno, a breadboard, and one of these guys, which is a PIR sensor. Let's uh, zoom in on that a little bit. See if we can get her to focus. There we go. So what this is, is a sensor that is able to detect infrared heat, or the heat that comes off the human body or an animal. And it requires no light or anything at all like that. So basically what happens, if something alive passes in front of it, it will send a signal out that pin marked S for signal. And that will trigger our little alarm project here. But this alarm isn't just going to make some horrible noise. In this case, we're going to make a musical alarm. And since I am a Star Wars fan, it's going to play the Imperial March, you know, Darth Vader's theme, whenever somebody triggers it. So let's put this together. The first thing we're going to hook up, and let's zoom in here on the breadboard so you guys can get a better look at how this goes together, is our PIR sensor. Okay. So we have three connections, signal, positive, and negative. So the first thing it's going to need is a negative connection which is going to the negative rail there, the blue minus, and then a positive connection, which goes to the red plus, and then it is going to need the signal wire. And once we've got all those, we can simply plug in our PIR sensor, just like that. See how simple that is? Now to connect that up to the Arduino, in this case we're just going to plug it into pin number two. You can choose any pin you want, it really doesn't matter. That's going into pin two. Next up we need to connect our speaker, Let me zoom out here a little bit, which has two wires and in this case really doesn't matter which way they go. So we're just going to plug one into the ground and one anywhere else, basically, like that. And our speaker connection is going to Arduino pin number eight. So you just plug that into the same vertical row. Then we need two more connections. We need our ground connection, which I'm plugging into ground. And that can plug into anywhere in the blue ground rail row, like that. And finally, we need our power connection. And we're going to use the 5 volt pin on the Arduino in this case. And it can plug into anywhere in the red row. And now it's all set up and ready to run. All we need to do is to install the software. Let's go take a look at that. All right, here's the code for the PIR intruder alarm. Now the first thing you're gonna notice are all these defines here in this section. And what this covers are the frequencies of these musical notes. So don't pay a lot of attention to what they are. 
those are just frequencies. Next we have our beats per minute and then we have our notes half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, and a whole note. Then we have our setup which remember will only run once. We set pin mode 2 to input and that's where our PIR sensor is. Uh, pin mode 8 and 9 are outputs and we're going to drive pin 9 low and this is just to help prevent any uh, interference between pins 8 and 9. 9 sometimes will uh, override it a little bit. Then we have our alarm function. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come down here to our loop which is what runs over and over and the first thing it does is it creates a boolean variable which means it can be true or false, high or low, one or zero called it trigger and sets it to be equal to a digital read of pin number two. So if pin number two reads a zero then it's false. If pin number true, two <laughs> reads a one then it's true. So then we're going to act on that variable so we say if trigger which is the same as saying if trigger equal true or if trigger equals one get it just by saying if trigger that's the same as saying if it's true then we call the function alarm and that's what we just skipped over here so here is our alarm function and in this case it plays the star wars imperial march you know darth vader's theme you know, you can download just about any song you could probably think of on the internet and just paste it in here. And it simply uses the tone command. What pin, what frequency, and what duration. And if we come up here, we look. So there's our note. Say uh, B flat 4 is equal to to 466.16 hertz and it was what a quarter note so it is equal to 60,000 divided by BPM which is 120 see how that works then our delay is 1 plus a quarter note our next note is the same third note is the same now we come down here we have tone equals again pin 8 F3 and our duration is E plus S which is an eighth note plus a sixteenth note I mean none of this music theory is important just so you know how this works and that's all it does tone and delay and then after it finishes playing that it drops back down here and again checks if trigger is set. If it is, it plays it again. If not, nothing happens. So that's it for the code. Alright, we've uploaded the code. Everything is powered up and ready. So now if it senses some body heat, there we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me move my microphone. Here, I'll play it again for you. I don't know if you were able to hear that. So that's really all there is to it. Very simple. It'll play any tune you want. And you know, of course, you can add to it. You can add uh, LEDs or whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.